Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our Python and MySQL series. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and create our very own database, and then we'll create a table inside of that database. Let's get started. First thing first, guys, we have now established a connection to our database. We tested it out, it worked. The next step is to actually create our very own database using Python. Now the question is, could you do this using your MySQL workbench as well? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, this course is related to Python. We want to make things with Python. So let's go ahead and actually execute that command with Python. So the way we're going to do this, guys, is after you've imported MySQL.connector and you've set up your database, which is including your host, your user, and your password, the next step is to actually initialize something known as your cursor. And the cursor is basically the object that communicates with your entire MySQL server. And through that, we'll be able to create our own database. So we're going to say my cursor is going to be equal to my DB dot cursor. And this will basically in initialize our cursor of the database. And from here, we can now execute our very own database commands. So my cursor is equal to my DB dot cursor. And then after this, guys, we're going to go ahead and execute an SQL statement. We're going to say my cursor dot execute. And then inside of this, we're going to pass in create Remember all caps database, all caps, and then comes the database name. So again, these are all SQL commands. This is how Python communicates with MySQL by writing these commands. And in this scenario, we're dealing with create database and then the database name. So I'm going to go ahead and say test DB for now. Again, you can call this term whatever you want. It's up to you. That is going to be your database name. Once you've done that, guys, just go ahead and run this again. If you're using PyCharm control shift R, and there we go, process finish with exit code zero. So now we have run this code. Theoretically, a database should be created. You know how we can check, guys? Very, very straightforward. We have initialized mydb.cursor. We're going to go ahead and run another command. And we're going to say mycursor.execute show space databases. Again, this is another MySQL command. And we're basically saying over here, show us all the databases that are available. And then once this is done and the data has been received, we're going to say for DB in my cursor, we're going to print out DB. Okay. So my cursor to execute show databases will get us all the different databases that have been created. And now we're just going to say for every database in the cursor, print it out. Go ahead and run this guys. And let's take a look. Information schema, MySQL, performance schema, sys, and then the last one, which is the one we created, test DB. Fantastic guys, that has now created our very own database. The next step is to create a table in our database. So the way MySQL works guys is it constitutes of several databases and inside of those databases, several different tables. Every table basically stands apart. You can join tables together. You can select stuff from those tables, etc. All right. Awesome. Now that we've created our database guys, the next step is to create our table in MySQL. Now that our database is created, we need to specify which database my DB is going to be using. So after password guys, go ahead and add another field. And inside of this, we're going to say database is equal to test DB. And by doing that, we're basically telling Python, Hey, when you initialize my DB, make sure that you're pointing towards test DB. That way, when we create our table, it will automatically create that table in the requested database. Now that we have my cursor guys, we're going to say my cursor dot execute. And then we're going to pass in another MySQL command over here to create our very own table. So in this scenario, guys, we're going to say create table. And this time, guys, I'm going to create a table that is for students. So we're going to be storing the students um, name and then let's store their students age. OK, so create table students. And then inside of this, we're going to pass in inside of parentheses. Um, we're going to pass in two variables. One is going to be the name and the other is going to be their age. So we're going to say name space. And then the type of the variable. So the type for string, we're going to say var char, and it should have a max width of 255 or 56 characters. And then comma, we're going to say h, and then we're going to say this is going to be an integer with a width size of 10. Don't worry about these numbers for now, guys. They're basically nuances with MySQL showing you how many characters you can store, etc. For now, just realize that we're creating a table that's called students and has two main fields, the name and the h. The name and age act as columns and in later videos, we'll learn how to populate these columns. So go ahead and execute that command control shift R and process finish with exit code zero. How can we check that the table actually exists? Well, guess what? Just like show databases, there's also show 
tables. So go ahead and do that and then just say for TB in my cursor, go ahead and print TB. Go ahead and run that and we get students. Now, if you have any questions about using the workbench with this database, you totally can. I'm going to go ahead and open up my SQL workbase. I already have the connection created. If you want to go ahead and just create another connection, put in whatever you want, your username, root, your password, whatever it was, and then go ahead and hit OK. Once you do that, guys, and you go inside of your MySQL workbench, you'll be able to see that test DB has been created. And inside of that, if we go into tables, the students table has also been created. Fantastic job, guys. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at populating our database with Python. See you then, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video.